Hey everyone, welcome back to Training with Huddle. Today we'll be going over how to create a practice script within Play Tools. To get started, hover over Play Tools and select Practice Scripts. Here you'll see any existing practice scripts organized by game and event. To create a new script, select the blue button in the upper right hand corner. First, we'll choose which event we'd like to create the script for. In this example, you'll see that we can either create a magic script or create a blank script. Then title this script. Once we select create this practice script, we'll now be able to add plays to the script. To get started, select show playlists. Here we'll be able to pull in any clips from any scout film that we have for this event. We can select the south playlist and add these plays since there's breakdown data attached with it. You'll also see that there's a camera icon next to this so we can see an example of how this play was run during the game. To add this to our practice script, select the green plus button. You'll now see that this information has been added to our practice script. To edit the play, hover over the card and select edit this play. Here we can start to draw onto this play card and add blocking schemes or instructions. We can also edit the columns here by selecting into them and entering a defensive front. If we'd like to edit the columns that we have access to, select the green wrench in the top left hand corner. Here you'll see the included columns, but we can also add more context here. To add a new play, select the column below your existing play. Here you can also type in to add custom plays. Once you've entered in this information, you can go back to edit this play. Once you've created templates for your formation, play, and coverages, Play Tools will automatically populate those templates the next time you type in that name into a play card. To print this practice script, select the print button in the upper right hand corner. Here you can select how many cards you'd like per page and which printing options you'd like to show. Once you're happy with your options, select print and it will generate a PDF for you to print to your computer. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest how-to videos. 